I want to welcome all of you to the webinar that will give you a plethora of information on Springpoint Choice. Springpoint Choice is a very unique program. I'd like to introduce myself, Cecily Laidman. I'm the Executive Director of Springpoint Choice. Also presenting today will be Craig Kinsey, who is our Director of Marketing and Sales, both in New Jersey and in Delaware. Also presenting will be Amy Nicholas, who is our Program Director in New Jersey. Both Craig and Amy have been with the program for over 20 years, so they have a wealth of information. Before we get started, I wanted to give you just a little information on Springpoint. Springpoint has been around over 100 years. It is a non-for-profit organization and is one of the leading senior living organizations in the Northeast. We have life plan communities both in New Jersey as well as Delaware, as well as affordable housing. So this gives you a good background on the company that we're associated with. But today we're going to be talking about Springpoint Choice. So let me ask you a question. What are your goals? Over 90% of people really want to remain in their home as they age. And that's what this program is able to do. In addition to that, I don't think people really want to be a burden to their family or friends. So this program also solves that. And if you were to need any services in your home, how would you get them? Springpoint Choice will be able to help you with that as well. And lastly, but probably most importantly, is the cost and the financial burden that long-term care can be. And Springpoint Choice manages to solve that issue as well. There are many options when you're talking about going into retirement or as we age. And you could just stay home and do nothing. That's an option. It may not be the best. You could also rely on family or friends. I have always said that I would like to keep my family and friends, my family and friends, and have someone else help with that navigation if and when I were to need assistance. You could also pay for these services when and if you need them. You will see some very eye-opening numbers later in the presentation on what that might cost you. And as we know, those costs are going up every day. Interestingly, many of our members also have long-term care insurance, which is another option that can be used. But we also have a program, again, that will pretty much dovetail the long-term care insurance with the Springpoint Choice program. And you could also move into a retirement community, one of the beautiful Springpoint communities. But today, what you're going to hear about is Springpoint Choice. And now I'd like to turn it over to Amy Nicholas, who will outline the advantages of the Springpoint Choice program. If you're doing long-term care planning, I do think all of us come at this with our own life experiences. But if you peel that all away, I do think it comes down to these four common goals or pieces of the puzzle that most individuals are trying to accomplish. And these are the main reasons that our members join the Springpoint Choice program. Goal number one, staying in your own home. We're simply hearing this more and more from individuals, that they want to stay in their own home and age in place. And Springpoint Choice was designed for individuals who want to stay in their own home with a plan for every stage of their life. Now, when you become a member of Springpoint Choice, your lifestyle doesn't change, but you do move forward with a secure plan in place. And our members are truly planning for their future. This is not a program for individuals who are looking for immediate care or assistance because Springpoint Choice is not a fee-for-service home care agency. The second goal, or second piece of the puzzle, not becoming a burden to friends or family. And our members have told us that one of the main reasons they became a member of Springpoint Choice is because they didn't want to become a burden to their friends or family if their health should change. And if that's a goal of yours, you do need to plan. And a key component of the Springpoint Choice program is care navigation. When you become a member of our program, your personal care navigator is your advocate and guide. They're there for you with one phone call. 
Even when you're healthy and well, your personal care navigator gets to know you from day one, developing a trusted relationship with you and oftentimes your family. So that when the time comes, if you have a change in your health and you do need the services we provide, your care navigator is there to help you navigate that maze of long-term care. They'll do assessments, make recommendations, put a plan together with you, and help you manage any of those services going forward. And that truly does ease the burden off the shoulders of our members and their families. Now the third piece of the puzzle, having access to quality long-term care. Now I don't know anybody who became a member of our program who said, gosh, I can't wait till the time that I need care. But the reality is this is about planning. And if you're putting a plan in place for the future, you need to make sure that you're gonna have access to the best care available when you need it. And long-term care is challenging. So it's so important today that you don't go it alone. And our Spring Point Choice members have priority access to whatever level of care they need when they need it. Whether it's short-term rehabilitation, care in their own home, assisted living care, or if they do need a permanent placement in skilled nursing or memory care, our Spring Point Choice members have access to Spring Point's network of long-term care services. And not just access to the services, but also our expertise. And all it takes is one call to your personal care navigator that gives you access to the services and our experience. Goal number four. Probably one of the most obvious reasons that individuals do planning for long-term care is that they want to put a plan in place to preserve their income and assets. And we're going to be showing you here in just a couple of slides some of our different membership plans that offer varying degrees of cost coverages for the services we provide to help you meet your financial goals for long-term care planning. Now, no matter which plan that you sign up under, there's no elimination period. And that means that if you need the care, it's available to you and covered from day one. So when you do understand the costs of long-term care services, it it is important that you put a plan in place to help ensure that you're not going to be paying for those care and services out of your own pocket. So with that being said, let's take a look at what long-term care services cost in our area. Now the slide we're showing you here, this is the reality of cost of care and services in New Jersey and Delaware. So if you do not have a plan in place, this is the reality. This is what you would be spending out of your own pocket, out of your own savings, if you do start to require long-term care services. Now home care. Home care costs can vary because the level of care in your home can vary. But if we're talking about the services of a home health aid, that cost can easily exceed $60,000 a year. And for assisted living care, assisted living costs can vary as well, depending upon the level of service you require. But an average cost, we're looking at close to $90,000 a year for assisted living care. And nursing home expenses. This is where the cost is really starting to grow. We're talking about nursing home care costing anywhere between $350 to $425 a day. So we're looking at nursing home care really reaching upwards of $150,000 a year. And this is where it's so important to understand that if you do not have a plan in place, this is what you would be paying for care and services out of your own pocket. So we are going to be showing you here in just a couple of slides how our Spring Point Choice membership plans can help protect you against these costs if you ever do need care. So at the beginning of the presentation, we were talking about these goals or the pieces of the puzzle when we're doing long-term care planning. Whether it was staying in your own home, making sure that you do not become a burden to friends or family, having access to quality long-term care when you need it, and having an option to preserve your income and assets. And we do feel that Spring Point Choice is the best option above all these others because it brings all of these pieces of the puzzle together into one comprehensive plan. It helps individuals meet all their goals for long-term care planning. And that's the value of this program. 
that again, it brings all the pieces of the puzzle together into one comprehensive plan. Thank you, Amy. Now I'm going to share with you the membership services for Spring Point Choice. First and foremost is the Care Navigator. This is the individual that you will actually meet when you go through the application process. You will then, after you are qualified to become a member of Spring Point Choice, the Care Navigator will come to your home and get to know you a little better, what your likes and dislikes are. In addition to that, they will be in touch with you a minimum of four or five times a year just to check in, make sure everything is okay, but also have a face-to-face -face with you once a year to see if there have been any changes in your health, um, any challenges you may see. This is the cornerstone of the Spring Point Choice, the Care Navigator. After you are qualified to become a member, you have a home assessment with an occupational therapist who comes in and does a very thorough evaluation of your home, making recommendations of things that you may want to do today or you may want to do down the line. It's recommendations, not mandated, but it is a very thorough occupational therapist review of your home. Another part of the Spring Point Choice membership is that you get the emergency response system. Another benefit is transportation. Although it's limited, it is for those procedures where your physician would say you need someone to drive you to this procedure. That is included. If you're just going to the doctor, that is not part of the Spring Point Choice membership. We also provide adult daycare, but what I would say is the most utilization of services are going to be those home-based services that are coming in to your home that are helping you with your activities of daily living, whether it be a home health aid or even a live-in. We've had some members that have had a live-in for over five years, and that has proven to be very successful because that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to stay in their home. But if it comes to a point where even having a live-in is not a safe option for you in your home, you are able to go into one of our Spring Point communities into assisted living, memory care, or even skilled nursing. Another benefit of our program is the fact that you can take advantage of the amenities at the Spring Point communities, whether it be the swimming pool, the dining, exercise, some of the programs that go on there. So you kind of have best of both worlds. You're able to stay in your home, age in place, yet take advantage of some of the amenities at our beautiful communities. Another benefit of this program is the Spring Point Live Well program. This provides activities, wellness and fitness programs, educational and, cul and cultural programs, and also social networking. I think one of the very important things that people get concerned about if they're aging in their home is the activity and the social interaction, and Live Well is able to provide that much needed aspect of a healthy life. And if and when you were to need to go into a community, for those of you who aren't familiar with Spring Point, we have eight communities, seven of which are in our New Jersey and one in Lewis, Delaware. We also have a home care agency. Now I'd like to turn it over to Craig to give you a lot more information and to talk about the financial part of this program. Cecily, thank you. Yes, I do want to go over all the different pricing options, but first I want to touch upon membership eligibility requirements. First, must be 55 years of age or older. Simple to understand, as long as someone is 55 years of age or older, they can potentially look at becoming a member of our program. Healthy, active, and independent. This is really an extension of what Amy had mentioned earlier, that our program is not designed for someone looking for immediate care. Uh, it really is designed for someone that is doing long-term care planning. We are not a fee-for-service provider. Now, there is one exception to that that I want to touch upon in a moment. Reside in the service area. 
Also easy to explain, the service area is the state of New Jersey or the state of Delaware. Portable after one year. What this means is that once someone becomes a member, if at some point in the future they require services outside of our service area, our program will follow them. But there is one limitation. If the cost of care is greater for someone receiving services outside of our service area, then the member will pay the difference, but portability is an option. Successfully complete the application process to qualify. This is broken down actually into three levels. First is a medical review, where we will look at some of your own medical records from your own doctor. A financial review, which is also you sharing some financial information with us, which is kept very private and on a needs to know basis only. Personal and home evaluation completed by one of our care navigators. Uh, all of this information is actually gathered and then reviewed by an admissions committee. And the admissions committee will either render a pass or fail, either someone's eligible or not eligible. Now, there is one exception. If we do have a situation where there's a couple, and a couple is just two individuals living in the same location looking to join the program at the same time, if one of those is medically eligible, but the other is not, we have something called consultative care, which is a fee-for-service membership option for the ineligible spouse or partner. Now, here's the good thing. Both parties have access to all the care and services we provide. They just have different payment plans, which, again, will make a little bit more sense when I go over some of those options in the next couple of slides. And also, just briefly, uh, must maintain Medicare slash insurance coverages. We provide custodial long-term care, so members do still need to maintain their health insurance. Now, before I show you some examples of the actual options we offer, I want to give you a little bit of an overview of how the pricing is structured. There is going to be a one-time membership fee based upon the plan or the option you choose, and then there is an ongoing monthly maintenance fee also based upon the age or the plan option you choose. So everyone who joins our program is going to pay a membership fee, and a monthly fee except for somebody coming in under consultative care. Now, even if you're a couple, you still pay a membership fee and a monthly fee, but under certain options, there are discounts for couples. Tax deductible as a medical expense. Since the inception of our program, the IRS has considered the fees invested in our program to be a prepaid medical expense. And there is a formula used to determine medical expenses. Usually those expenses have to go at least 7.5% above your adjusted gross income. So any deductions will be specific to your own income, but I will share with you, most of our members have had some benefit from the tax deductions. Monthly fees subject to an annual cost of living increase. As uh, we had mentioned earlier, we're a nonprofit and we are regulated by the state. And for many decades, uh, states have had certain procedures and mechanisms in place to allow nonprofits to continue to operate as the cost of doing business has increased. So how does this actually impact our members? As I mentioned before, there is a one-time membership fee. That's one time. And then you have an ongoing monthly maintenance fee. Now, here's the good news. The monthly maintenance fee cannot increase because you're older. The monthly maintenance fee cannot increase because you actually are activating services or you are going from one level of care to the next. The only time your monthly maintenance fee can ever increase is when the state has approved a cost of living or a cost of doing business increase. Since our inception, I can say to you that we've probably have experienced you know, many increases and it's averaged around 3%. So realistically, you are going to see your monthly fee increase over time. But I think it's important to put that in perspective when looking at our plan. And as we were talking about earlier, not only are we providing services, but we're also helping protect assets. And I believe we offer some of the most comprehensive inflation coverage available today. And I want to share with you some of the options on the next slide. This slide is an example of the pricing options that are available to all of our members. And you'll see on the left-hand side, it says types of services. Uh, it lists home care and assisted living, memory care, nursing home care. And as you go from left to right, you'll see there's plans A, A+, B, and D. Let me go over the A plan. 
The A plan is an option that offers 100% lifetime coverage. And this is important to understand. Once you pay your one-time membership fee, and now you have a monthly maintenance fee, at some point in the future, if you ever need our services, they're covered at 100% for the rest of your life, whether that's a year from now, five years from now, or 10 years from now. This is a really a good way of protecting assets, again, because once you're in this plan, costs are covered for the rest of your life at 100%. The next option is the A-plus plan. And this is available to individuals looking to join our program that have long-term care insurance. Right now, about a third of our members have long-term care insurance. And what we can do here is take an existing policy and blend it with our program and offer our members 100% lifetime coverage and fill in the gaps that the insurance will not cover. The next two plans, which is the B and the D, these are what we call our co-payment plans. Under the B plan, we offer 75% lifetime coverage. And what we have found is a lot of members have said this is a good combination of cost and coverage. They like the 75% coverage, and they're comfortable paying a 25% copay, and they also find that lowering the fees is something that works for them. Under the D plan, this is a, an option that was designed specifically for individuals looking to focus their resources just on home care only. And it also offers the lowest pricing available under all of our options. So if someone's under the D plan, home care is covered at 100%, except for live-in where there's a 35% copay. And if they need assisted living, nursing home care, or even memory care, that's a fee for service. And what I wanted to emphasize here with these options is that the services are the same for everyone. What we were doing is just giving our members the opportunity to choose ultimately how they want to pay for those services. For today, I do want to give an example of one of the options, specifically the pricing for the B plan. The B plan, remember, is a co-payment where we provide 75% coverage and the member has a 25% copay. Now, we're using an example of someone who is 75 years of age. And you'll see that there is a membership fee, and a monthly fee, options one, two, and three. Under option number one, the membership fee is $61,275, and the monthly fee is $312. Under option number two, the membership fee is $48,000, and the monthly fee is $412. Under option number three, the membership fee is $34,725, and the monthly fee is $512. So what's happening here is we're giving you, again, choice. Under option one, you're paying the highest membership fee, but the lowest monthly fee. Under option three, you're paying the lowest membership fee, but the highest monthly fee. And option two gives you something in between. So again, the services are the same. We're just giving individuals the opportunity to choose how they would want to pay for those services. I had mentioned that we have the A-plus plan, which is the option that can combine someone's long-term care insurance with our program and offer 100% lifetime coverage, filling in the gaps that the insurance does not cover. But for today's purposes, uh, I really cannot give you specific pricing because we need to look at your own individual policy. To determine the membership fee and the monthly fee, we have to look at your coverage. But I can say that the more coverage that you have, the greater the opportunity for us to lower the fees. So if you do have long-term care insurance, please feel free to reach out to us. Let us take a look at that policy and we can share with you what the A-plus pricing would look like for you. Often when folks are exploring our program, uh, they may be looking at some other options, and often folks have said that your plan seems to have some similarities to long-term care insurance. And I, I will say that, yes, on paper, there may, may seem to be some similar features to our program and long-term care insurance, but when you start looking and reading between the lines, I think you'll see there are some dramatic differences. At the top of the list, the personal care navigator. Uh, our members have shared with us that having access to a personal care navigator to be their guide and advocate when the time does come is really very, very important to them. It's actually been said it's the backbone of our program. And when you compare it to traditional long-term care insurance, often you're hoping to get possibly someone to answer uh, an 800 number and get some limited coordination, dramatically different than a personal care navigator. No elimination period. 
That means when someone is actually eligible for care, services can begin immediately. There's no waiting. With most long-term care insurance, you'll find that there is an elimination period, generally 60 to 100 days. So what we have found is members have shared with us that they could not use their long-term care insurance for short-term care. Under our program, again, with no elimination period, services can begin immediately. No medical approval for most services. Uh, most of the care that is going to be activated is generally going to be a conversation between you and your personal care navigator. Very user-friendly. When you compare that to long-term care insurance, to activate care, not only do you have an elimination period, but you generally have to have medical approval and fill out a lot of paperwork, which can be very cumbersome if you are at that point needing care or helping a loved one activate long-term care insurance. Our members have the peace of mind of knowing that if they need services, it will be as long as they need it. They never have to worry about it expiring. With long-term care insurance today, the benefits are generally limited to either a pool of money or a length of time. And once that money is exhausted or the time is exhausted, they now have to start paying privately. So I would say that our members have shared with us having lifetime protection really does give them peace of mind. One activity of daily living to receive services. Activities of daily living are bathing, dressing, grooming, toileting, transferring, mobility, eating. It's what you and I do every day to function. And to activate services under our plan, you have to show a deficiency in only one activity of daily living. Under long-term care insurance, it's two or more. And we've seen this really where individuals were we've had the opportunity to activate care, but long-term care insurance has been delayed up to almost two years. So on paper, again, this may seem subtle, but it can have a dramatic impact when services are activated or not activated. And when you look at really, again, comparing our program to long-term care insurance, whether it's the personal care navigator, no elimination period, no medical approval for most services, lifetime care, only one activity of daily living needed for services, you can see that there are differences. And that's why a lot of folks have said to us, they've looked at our program and made the decision to join Spring Point Choice. I, in all fairness, though, I will say that we do offer portability, as I mentioned earlier, but most long-term care insurance does as well. And for my, my clo closing slide today, uh, I did want to share with you sort of a conversation experience that we had had with an individual who, similar to yourself, had come to one of our educational events. And what he was asking us to do was to examine his potential out-of-pocket exposure, uh, even though he had long-term care insurance. He wanted to understand his risks better. And what he had said to us is that, you've piqued my curiosity. You know, I'm a planner. I feel I have all my ducks in a row. I have long-term care insurance. I have Medicare. I have Medigap. But I am wondering now if, unfortunately, something were to happen to me, and at some point in the future I needed long-term care, hey, specifically maybe in a nursing home, what would my out-of-pocket costs be? So simply, we took a look at his policy, and we saw that his current benefit was $200 a day. And if, unfortunately, he did need to go into a Spring Point nursing home, that cost was $400 a day. So the difference would be $200 a day. So doing some simple arithmetic, if you look at out-of-pocket cost at $200 a day over the course of 365 days, that's $73,000 a year. And this took him aback. He said, you know, I thought I was covered. Now I realize I never took sort of pencil to paper to realize what my out-of-pocket exposure would be. So what actually convinced this gentleman to join our program, he said, well, that's my out-of-pocket exposure today. I'm healthy, I'm well, and if I ever did need long-term care or nursing home care, it probably will be many years in the future, and my exposure will be greater. And that's what, again, convinced him to join under our A-plus plan, and now he would be covered at 100% if he were ever in this situation. I would just like to say, whether you have long-term care insurance, whether you don't have long-term care insurance, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'll be more than happy to take a look at your own personal situation and do specific pricing for you. And there is never any obligation. So I would like to thank you once more for joining us here today. And I'm going to turn the presentation back over to my colleague, Amy Nicholas. Thank you. Now to bring this full circle, why is planning so important? 
it's important because it helps you remain in control of your destiny moving forward. And we do feel that Spring Point Choice, again, is the best option above all the others because it does bring all those pieces of the puzzle together and helps individuals accomplish their goals for long-term care planning. It helps our members to stay in their own home, gives you options to preserve your income and assets, making sure that you have care navigation and advocacy if your health should change. If you have long-term care insurance, we have an option that can complement your long-term care policy. And even when you're healthy and independent, you can enjoy the amenities and activities at our Spring Point Senior Living Communities. So as Craig was mentioning earlier, even if you become a member of the Spring Point Choice Program, you can keep your options open. If you're considering a move in the future, we do offer portability that you can take the benefits of Spring Point Choice with you. And we also offer a bridge plan that if at some time down the road, you decide that you would like to move into a Spring Point Senior Living Community for independent living, whether it's an apartment or a cottage, we do have a bridge plan available to our members. So you can keep some of those options open. And we would encourage you to reach out if that is an option that might be of a benefit to you down the road, please do give us a call and we'll be happy to give you more detail about that bridge plan. Well, I want to thank all of you for attending today. Give us a call, send us an email, check us out on our website. Thank you again for attending and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.